won, baby! Whoa, 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 whoa. Big Dad's going. Barry Sanders all up in here, up in here. Hey, whoa, we gotta go, baby! Big Stone! Boom, 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 boom! Listen, you hear me say this over and over. One, we don't win a game today. Doesn't mean we don't compete and we don't get maximum effort. Compete, give maximum effort. But learn to be a great practice player. Learn to help each other. If I'm on a scout team giving a look, if I give a look, I'm hurting the guy on the other side of the ball and I'm hurting the team. Learn to be a great practice player. Great get up, hand placement, feet movement, movement, feet on contact, running, collision. Excellent football. Become a great practice player and learn to help each other out and practice together at a high level. Everybody understand that. Want to be a great team? You've got to be a great team and practice the right way out there. Great job, great attitude out here today. Okay, great attitude coming out on the field. We have to create a mindset around here. Okay, get the mindset that no one can outwork us. Okay, when we walk off the field today, you should be tired, you should be exhausted, because we never want anybody to outwork us. You want to be able to look across the field at your opponent and know that we have worked harder than they had. Every snap of the game, you line up against the guy, you want to know, I have worked harder than him. So over the course of a game, it will show that I have outworked you. And that's how you become a championship team. Great job, get in here tight, get in tight. Yes, in tight right sir. Yes. 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 in the classroom. TBA on three, one, two, three. Go, yes. 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 grab that. Being a student athlete at the University of Florida is a full-time commitment that demands excellence on and off the field. Something the Gators early enrollees are getting a crash course in. And this led to some people not wearing masks, not following medical guidelines for dealing with the symptoms of the virus, and not getting vaccinated. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a solid first sentence right there. See you, Ms. Woosley. Yes. Got a, got a huncho on the introduction. You know, we got a 90 the first time. Now we, we made it up, and we got a 100. You the best. Ha! No, we the best. It's a team. Oh, I got 100, too. So oh, you got 100? Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. P, straight like that. You already know we rocking. You know what I'm saying? Got all A's. One B, that's in bio, though. You know what I'm saying? Chief and I are always trying to compete for that grade right now. The transition has been a lot easier, especially when people look like when I surround myself like my brothers like this, like Don right here, Boone and Kit, you know, that's like my peeps that I hang around with every day, 24-7. Like, I see you wake up, everything. And we just we just live it up every no, day. It, it's, it's definitely been fun. Like, like <laughs> Coach Mullen talks about all the time, like people are going to be homesick and everything. But like nah. with having like these bonds with these guys, like I haven't. Like, I feel bad, I love you to my mom and dad and my brothers back yeah. home, but like, I'm enjoying life here. Well, first off, Coach McGriff, he, he's definitely, uh, he's definitely being that like father figure right now in my life. He just coming in like, 
Like that's one thing that my dad did. He made sure he was on top of me about every single thing. Stop, run, turn it, and go compress it. Hey, Donovan, that's a hell of a job. That's a lot better. Get on now. Hello, job right there. It's definitely just gonna work in the long run to like make us such yeah. like better players, really? but ultimately yeah. like better people in our life, like just better lives. Overall, like the whole coaching staff really like reaches out to like all most of the players that they see. You know, I really talk to like all the coaches to make sure like, you know, they on their toes and they keep me on my toes. Like when we hit that practice field though, I was like, wow. <laughs> like I'm really here, I'm really grinding, I'm really just, like, yeah. I'm really a Florida Gator, and I just think that's just every day. It's just it gets better and better. You know, when you see your jersey, and then you got your name right on top of your locker, like right on side of your locker, and then you're right next to all the people that you see that played on TV, and you know they they went through the same NFL, stuff that we did. NFL to. players, exactly. Like they went through the same things we went through, and now we're over here, you know, just carrying on the tradition, and it's just it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Being a Florida football player requires the ability to have a balanced life. Sometimes that may be as simple as letting loose before a position meeting. Something new safeties coach Wesley McGriff is adamant about. Now, just want to remind you this right here. Every session you've been evaluated, all right? Because we get closer and closer to the game time. You've been evaluated. You got to keep building a resume of trust, all right? Are you playing well enough that we trust you to put you well? In the game, okay? All right, good test. All right, here we go. Well, I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this bunch, and uh, I'm really impressed with uh, not only the effort on the playing field, but I'm, I'm really impressed with the chemistry, and I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with, with their attention to detail. And, uh, and they're just starving. They're just starving to take the next step in their career and, uh, and help this football team become better. I'm, I'm fortunate to be a part of it. Hey! Secure it. Good, good. Get it out. Ball, ball. Good. Hey. My biggest goal is just to make sure that they understand and they know the game and, and make sure they understand situational football. Make sure they understand when Coach Grantham calls a defense, they completely understand the reason why he's calling it and what we're trying to stop. You know, we didn't skip a beat, you know, with Coach Crime Dog. It all been all love, all technique, just to continue to get better each and every day, no matter if it's on the field, off the field. His impact, as soon as he got here, you, you made uh, his impact uh, felt. I love his energy, what he brings to the table every day. I mean, he, he's out there competing just like we is. He He's here early, uh, he's leaving late. He's just how we putting in the time in, he putting time in us. So uh, he, he, you could tell it's a different type of culture. There you go, bro. There you go, baby. Hey, your foot, your feet is clean. Now get to him and hit like this. Yeah. And roll those hips, baby. Get better. Drive, drive. Now get him over. There you go. Drive. Finish, finish. And, uh, you know, you have no choice uh, when you come to the University of Florida in this football program to be successful. You know, Coach Mullen has created an environment, uh, a great culture. Drive, drive, drive. Get back five. Get back five. Get back five. Get that call. I got to make sure I keep the tackle as I'm going for the ball. If I miss the ball, I still got the run. Tackle. I still got the tackle. Got it? Good pedal. Good pedal. Back. Drive. All right. Got to have some more seconds in that. Now more balance. Hunt. Strike. Hunt. Get out. Get away from me. Not only is this environment great for them to be great football players, which you've witnessed before, but they're also going to come out here being great men. Coach Crime Dog isn't the only new coaching addition to the Gator secondary this spring. These counts are releasing normally, so he skip stalls. He's allowing these guys to get down the field, and he's hoping that you backpedal out of there all right, to create a bunch of space so you go underneath. All right, so really good job. Uh, I've hit the ground running since I've been here. You know, just kind of a funny story. I came up, uh, I got offered the job on a Friday, um, and Saturday they had a uh, 10 o'clock team meeting, 10 a.m. team meeting. Uh, Coach Mullen, it was optional, he asked me to come up, you know, to introduce myself to the team. And they showed me my locker and there was gear in there. I put it on and they had the 10 a.m. Work workout. Next thing you know, I was right in the middle of a workout with them boys. Hey, 
Uh, I know you, you got me. We got another new coach with us right now. Just uh, want to introduce you. He's going to coach our corners. Uh, came to us from South Florida. Okay, Coach Jules Montanar. Go ahead, say yes, something. Sir. Introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. Hey, it's a great day to be a Florida Gator. Here, I want to thank Coach Bowen, Coach Grantham for this opportunity. Hey, I'm fired up to get here. Let's get to work. Hey. We'll see what he's got today with the corner, see how they finish, right? I think the relationship so far has been awesome uh, with the guys in the room, uh, with Kyir Elam and Jaden Hill, the two veteran guys in the room. Oh, definitely high energy, definitely high energy and technique based, which I feel like I needed to improve my game. All right, here we go, go this way. Say, hit, pin that shoulder, come on, pin him. Pin that shoulder, pin that shoulder, good. Okay, so green and eight out here. Hit, boom, he runs it out, boom, I'm driving. Hey, I'm patient. We yeah. talk about getting 1% better every day. And over 15 practices, if we're, if we're improving daily, uh, that 1% is going to add up. Get your keys. Oh, man, that's here. That's new one. There we go. Good job, Brandon. Get up, get up. Woo! He has, a, he has a very competitive in the room, so I like that a lot about Coach Jules. And then again, that, that allows us to push the younger guys, too, to you know, get better each and every day. For us to be an elite defense, okay, we got to be good at cornerback. That's just the bottom line. All right? You've never seen a team that does not have good cornerbacks and they're a good team. And the great thing is the kids are taking it in. I, I just, like I said before, I just love the attitude of the guys in the room. Right. Very nice, very easy, inside leverage, get ready to go to work. All right, let's go ahead, have, have some fun. Make some plays on some balls, dominate on three. One, two, three, dominate. Let's go get someone to hurt, let's go. Uh, that's a hard nose. <laughs> let's meet. Let's see who's strongest. See who's who. Who wanted more? Really type of drill. Uh, and it just really it starts practice off uh, with good energy, good competition. In the end zone. Yeah, I'll call out O line, D line. I'll call out running back safe. When things live and we get we got have the opportunity to do things like that, it brings fun to what we're doing. It's always fun, I think, for everybody to be able to compete and go out and show what what they're able to do. So it's always it's a fun thing, and also we know that. It's a time to get better and, like I said, compete and have fun. That's a competitive, fun drill, but we're working technique. Hands inside, base, feet move on contact, head up. Great. Nothing sets the tone for practice quite like the Gator drill. It's great, you know, it gets everybody juiced up and get their blood flowing. That's like our game. Those, those four players, those three players, is like our game, so it gives everybody excitement. Ready to go right off the jump. When the whistle blows, everybody ready to compete. That's a tight rope. That's a tight rope. The importance of starting practice with some hard-nosed competition cannot be overstated. The same could be said for ending it with some friendly competition. We're going to have four guys got to catch punt. If we catch three out of the four, okay, there's no sprints. If they don't catch these balls, we got to run and I'm already tired. Give me uh, down there. Give me Zach Carter. Rich, I need it. I need it. Hey, we putting it on you. 
so instantly when he said those uh, guys' names, it's like your heart dropped because it's like, oh man, we just know we finna run. When I first heard when I first heard about the uh, competition drill, I was like, all right, it's, it's cool. We catch punts. Then he said the names. Go not go to something real quick. Hey, keep the ball inside your framework. Get up on it. Where it's gonna land? Get up on it. And cradle that thing in. Okay. I seen Zach call that first. I'm like, ooh, all right. We in good shape now. We need, we need two more. The one of them I had faith in was Richard. I just knew Richard was gonna do it because he didn't call some puns before. So I'm like, okay, Richard got this. He done dropped the ball. They gone and lost all confidence for the rest of them. Hey, he keep that for the book. <laughs> Brent Cox should catch it. He pretty athletic. He like an outside linebacker, buck in. He could pretty much play it all. Man, I'm like, please be caught. Please catch the ball. I'm not trying to run. I'm so, <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm ready to go home. And as the ball get closer, I just see B cops just off balance on the old man. <laughs> oh man. B cops drop the ball, let it hit him in the chest. The hands ain't nowhere to be found. B cops disappointed, like when Buggy himself disappointed, you man. It's up there. The guesses at the end of practice are a reminder there's always a price to be paid for falling short of a goal. This Gator team knows that, and the work to make sure they get back to where they belong begins now. Lord, they don't put that on Instagram. Where we die, where we die.